Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to the next two weeks. Now, this reading is going to be for if you uh, have a love interest. And I'm going to do two parts of this reading just like I used to do. So we're going to start out with a whole reading for somebody who has a love interest. And then we're going to also do a whole reading for someone who is single. So it's going to be a two-part reading. I'll put the timestamps below. So if you guys are single, you can go to that one. If you guys have a love interest, you go to the first one right here. Okay. So, and also guys, feel free to sign up for my free newsletter. Um, and it's going to have... I'm going to give you guys some more predictions on that as well as promotionals and updates and so forth so on so go to my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the, lips, the link in the description box below and I want to thank you guys so much for liking sharing and subscribing and thank you to my members I really appreciate all of your support uh, also remember we're doing a holiday giveaway so stick with me till the end of this video for all those details okay so guys if you want me to continue this way with the breakup between love interest and uh single reads hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both let's jump right in all right so we're gonna first start out with whoever you have a love one whoever has a love interest out there okay so just keep that in mind if you have someone in mind if you're in a relationship that would be considered a love interest if you have someone in mind that you are dating or you have a few people that you're dating then this is the reading for you. Okay, so let's jump right in here. All right, so what's gonna happen with my Aries romantic love life for November 22nd to December 5th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so let's see where are you at right now? Okay, so we've got the 10 of pentacles. So it looks like some doors are opening, some things are opening up to you guys. Okay, we're gonna go over each thing as, as I clarify. Okay, so let's see, what is the potential that you have here? Okay, Queen of Arrows, possibly for some of you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay. What should you focus in on right now? We have the King of Swords, so definitely using your logic, taking a leadership role. We're gonna go through each one of these. All right, what happened in the past? We have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So something to do with advice for some of you or patient energy or possibly a focus on money or there was some very nurturing, supportive energy there. Okay, what are the potential blockages in your situation? We have the Knight of Pentacles energy. So some things are kind of going slow. It seems like a, a bit of a standstill there, or there's some actions being taken, but they're very slow in, in movement here. Okay, so let's keep going. So let's see what the suggested, let's see what the suggested approach is. So we have the Empress card energy. Well, she used to do with a lot of potential, love, abundance. Uh, I definitely feel that there's a very nurturing, supportive energy there. Interesting enough, okay. And then what is the influence involved with your situation? We got the five of arrows or the five of swords, the sense of, all right, what should I do here? Should I kind of just get up and walk away from the situation? You know, there needs to be something that needs to change here. And then let's see the most likely outcome. All right, we got the two of cups. Wow, the two of cups energy. We have the six of cups energy and we have the knight of cups. Okay, so let's let's go dig deeper into this and kind of examine this and see what's going on here. All right, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles has to do with uh, where you are right now is saying Ten of Pentacles. The door is opening to something long-term here for some of you. Okay, remember we're talking about love interest, so whoever you have in mind here. It looks like something is getting very serious here. Some of you may be starting a family with this person, okay? Because the doors are opening now with the Ten of Pentacles energy. And we see... Who is the influence involved in the situation? Who is the potential here? It's Queen of Swords. There's a truth coming out, or the potential is for this truth to come out, to be revealed here with this Queen of Swords energy. The particular sign that could be the potential here is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with the Queen of Swords, okay? So also we see the, uh, the, the potential here is for this truth about this conversation here, okay? And what's this conversation about? Something to do with long-term things here, right? The door's opening to this long-term situation. I mean, I feel like some of you already kind of know that's where the direction is going with this situation because we see, we can see a house back there. We can see something stable here. Okay, so 
definitely long-term kind of aspects going on with you guys, Aries. Okay, I wanna clarify further, but let's just go through each card and then we'll clarify just to be sure and get more and more layers on top of this. You know how I am, guys. Okay, so we see that the suggested approach to the situation, okay? The suggested approach or the, what you should focus in on right now is the King of Swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. What you should focus in on is using your logic, using your intelligence to take a leadership role here to speak what you want to say here, but doing in a kind of having a sense that there's politics here, saying the right things, doing the right things. That's the King of Swords energy. Also, kings talk about taking a leadership role in your situation. Okay, gonna have to take control of this. And and when it comes to communication, talking, speaking. In the past, we see the queen of pentacles energy. So we see there's a very nurturing, supportive energy. Some of you may have gotten some advice. There was some patient energy here on what should we do on the long-term basis kind of going on here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And then we see at the, the head of this or what potential blockages are here. It's just things kind of are gonna slow down, you know? slowing things down or a sense of all right stagnation here you know because of a lot of over analyzing going on there with the knight of pentacles energy taurus virgo capricorn energy that is the potential blockages here the slow moving kind of energy okay so let's see now what is going on with the suggested approach now wait empress card is coming out she is a nurturing, supportive energy. There's a sense of love. There's a sense of abundance. There's huge potential here. Pregnancy could also be for some of you because we're talking about the fertility card, okay? Also could be saying, look at this huge potential here. There's love, there's abundance. Take a loving approach. Know that there's huge potential here. Starting a family, because also the Empress can talk about starting a family. We're gonna clarify further and we're gonna look deeper into this, okay? So then we see what is the influence involved in the situation, kind of having this defeated energy, possibly because of the fact that the block seems to be, this seems to be taking so long, but I'm telling you guys, the door is opening here for something serious. And we see that the potential here is to have this conversation to reveal this truth. You're gonna have to take a leadership role here when it comes to this communication here, because we see in the past that there was this patient energy of kind of like, what should I do? What should I do? I need to get some advice, kind of mulling that over. But we see with the Knight of Pentacles energy, the blockage seems to be, all right, this, this slow moving energy. But we see that, we see the influences. I'm defeated, what should I do here? Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? So before we go to the likely outcome, I wanna clarify further here to get more information. All right, what's going to be Aries Romantic Glove Life for November 22nd to December 5th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see a person. Now the person could be you, could be the love interest, so keep that in mind, okay? And then we see that the potential here is strong desire here to speak a truth, or the potential is the strong desire, or the sense of some thinking and contemplating about the strong desire, okay, of speaking that truth. So there's potential to speak that truth, to have that conversation. And we see that there is an opportunity here, okay? So we see what you should focus in on is this opportunity, taking a leadership role when it comes to communication. And in the past, Clover card for some of you, you may have reconciled with this person. Maybe there was a hesitation in taking a risk because you were trying to be patient to make a choice here. We see that the blockage seems to be, and store card talks about, you know, babies. It talks about, you know, potential fertility, starting a family, changes, improvements. So we see there's delays here, right? There's actions being taken, but there's delays in that action, force changes here, uh, putting the worker effort into it, because that's the eight card energy. And then we see with the, we see with the suggested approach the, for the fertility card, you gotta be honest here about this potential of wanting to start a family here. Coming back to, you gotta take a leadership role here. The influence being, should I move on? Should I change, right? All right, or for some of you, there may be a long distance situation going on, which is causing this defeated energy with the ship card energy. Travel could be a factor here. All right, let's go layer on more cards, guys. We can say, okay, we can see that there's some kind of movement, travel, or change because someone's not being honest about a lack of flexibility and a person and an opportunity and taking a risk for this positive change or changing location store card energy. All right, what's gonna happen with my Aries romantic love life? for November 22nd to December 5th. Show me the cards I need to see. 
Show me the cards I need to see. So it looks like, obviously I told you guys, the door is opening very soon for this family long-term commitment stuff here going on. And it looks like, yeah, where are you at right now? It says you gotta make a decision, okay? The potential here is an opportunity, okay? And what should you focus in on? Well, there may be some unfinished things you're gonna have to deal with here with an ex-partner in order to move forward with an, uh, this opportunity. So, or this could be something to do with another person, all right? So if you guys are debating, because it seems like there's defeated energy because things are taking too long, maybe you wanna resolve this energy here so you can move forward with this love connection, okay? So we see that there was hopeful energy and taking a risk and Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, trying to figure out what you wanted on a long-term basis. Also, since I see the X card coming out here, I will say that the Six of Cups is in the likely outcome. So there could be some debates going on back and forth with you guys between this one that you are, uh, you're you with, okay, or this other love interest here for some of you. And then we see the X energy is coming up. So you're gonna have to take a leadership role here to resolve that unfinished business there. So we see that because of the slow movement here, it's not really making you happy. It's part of the block Chilean challenge. We see the focus being honest about the fact that you want family long-term commitment. You wanna resolve this issue here. And then we see coming in here, this defeated energy because of this opportunity of true love, new love. And it's like, should I focus on this change? Okay, so let's keep going. So what's the likely outcome for you guys? It looks like there's a relationship here with the Two of Cups energy. Uh, there's a soulmate connection here, and it looks like someone from the past is coming out. So it looks like some of you guys are gonna reconnect with someone from the past with the Six of Cups energy because they're gonna take romantic gestures towards you. Okay, so let's keep going. We see long time relationship, some stress, because of someone from the past and something surprising about these romantic gestures. So going further, yep, soulmate, relationship. You're like, all right, I need to make a wise choice and a wise decision here because I'm confused about these romantic gestures. <laughs> okay guys, so it looks like this, this current love interest that you're dealing with, okay, there's huge potential for you guys to start a family. So it's just a matter of you taking a leadership role here and resolving this issue that's coming out with this X energy, okay, to move forward. Because it does look like the door is opening here for you at highs that have a long-term commitment. You're gonna have to have this conversation though to reveal this truth and take a leadership role around this if you want this huge potential. You gotta be honest about that, okay? It's not being this defeated energy because it's defeated energy about should I move on, should I change, should I go for something new here? That's the influence involved in the situation. And then we see, the likely outcome is there's this relationship and we see a long time for some of you or a patient energy around it because it seems to be some delays in your happiness. And then this X energy is coming up here, guys, for you guys for the likely outcome. And you're going to be like, all right, this is going to stress me out. So be aware they're going to come out. Okay. So X is coming back around and they're going to take romantic gestures towards you and it's going to cause you a sense of confusion here. Okay. So guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way and also stick with me till the end so I can tell you about the uh, free giveaway coming up, okay? All right, guys, so um, we're gonna jump into our singles now. All right, so let me move this out of the way. here okay let's talk about our singles let's have my Aries singles romantic love life for November 22nd to December 5th show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see and just do it one more time Aries singles romantic love life November 22nd to December 5th need to see show me the cards I need to Let's take a look at this, Aries. All right, so we see where are you at right now? Some of you may be juggling multitasks, kind of weighing some decisions here with this Two of Pentacles energy. Let's see what the potential is. Oh, <laughs> potential coming up for you guys and love is the Six of Cups energy. So interesting because Aries love interest also, we see that coming out as well. Well, we just went through an eclipse energy and we're going through another one. So coming up on December 5th. So I'm not surprised by that energy. 
So what is the, um, the focus, what should you focus in on right now is not getting in that space of heartache, okay? And we see in the past, there may have been some things, some movement, some sense of um, wanting to move, uh, you know, having some kind of movement in your romantic love life, wanting the things to move fast there. Um, you may have been uh, communicating with uh, different people there with the Eight of Wands energy in the past. So we see at the head of the matter or the blockages in your situation, well, the Six of Swords is coming out, guys. So that can tell me that you're still kind of like getting over some things, possibly from the past with the Six of Swords energy, okay? And then we see what your suggested approach. King of Pentacles could be. Your suggested approach could be going for a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, or you're going to have to take a leadership role in your situation and be wise in your decision making when it comes to the long term if you're really wanting something serious here, or even being in that stable mindset that this is what you want. Okay, so we see the influence is the death card energy. So it's kind of like a sense of loss here, some big changes happening, some transformational changing. Possibly some of you may have gotten out of a relationship. And so there's still that energy there with the death card being there. Okay, so let's see the likely outcome. We got the Queen of Cups energy. We got the Temperance card energy. And we got the Six of Coins energy. So before we get to the likely outcome, let's clarify what's going on here, Aries. All right, Aries Singles Romantic Love Life, November 22nd through December 5th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And guys, if you find this reading helpful, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments below. All right, so, all right, so there's some juggling going on about a message, okay? So this is where you are right now. Some kind of juggling going back and forth. Should I send them a message? Should I send them a text message? That also could be because of the X energy. So they could be kind of going back and forth like, Maybe I want to send Aries a message, okay? I'm really debating this because the Six of Cups is showing me the potential that's coming up for you guys. And we see, yeah, the fish card tells me something. I'm very emotional here, Aries, okay? And we see the garden card is uh, the uh, what you should focus in on right now. Garden card can talk about, look at your options, look at your choices, okay? Go out, have a good time, all right? Be about, be around family and friends. Don't focus on this, this heartache and making these choices here. In the past, we have the store card energy. You had some improvements here, some changes that happened. Some of you may have changed locations here with the store card energy. Uh, Eight of Wands, you could have received some kind of messages, um, text message, Facebook messages from uh, this person possibly art or a person or things may have been moving fast you may have had a conversations with a couple of different people there we see the moon card is the um the blockage there so for some of you there's still the sense of all right i still got to see the light in the tunnel you're still overcoming some challenges here you know you're you're having the sense that maybe there's some kind of lack of movement there with the six swords energy like you have a sense that you're not overcoming your challenges when it comes to romance Okay, but then we see the suggested approach is saying, be patient, okay? That you're gonna be able to take a leadership role here and you're gonna be able to make a wise decision here. And you have to be wise in your decision because Lily's is wisdom here. You have a lot of life experience here, Aries, okay? So you know what to do. You know what you want and you know about, you know, what to do to get what you want here and pertaining to a long-term committed relationship with the King of Pentacles coming out. Because you're looking for something more serious, more stable here, okay? And we see the influence now. The influence could be uh, ending of loyalty or friendship or somebody to do with a friend possibly for some of you is influencing your romantic love life. Okay, now going further on this, we're gonna clarify further. We see some improvements or changes because of a letter, a message, document that's very emotional after a long time from a friend or through a friend with a doll cart energy. Okay. So Aries Singles Romantic Love Life for November 22nd to November 5th, December 5th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. So let's take a look at this. Mm-hmm. Yep, look at that. There is the friend. Friends, some kind of message, text message, letter, document, and making a choice about that. The potential is you're going to gain some kind of knowledge about somebody from the past, and it's going to be very emotional here. The focus needs to be on, or the, the, the current focus needs to be right now being happy, go have a good time, look at the options and choices, go out, lean on support of others, not focusing on this heartache. And then we see the past has to do with communication with an X energy. 
And we see at the head of the manor, possibly the blockage is possibly maybe some of you guys aren't really interested in anyone, you know, you don't have any chemistry and passion or you're still attached to this past situation. Okay, so we see that your suggested approach is not to lose hope and be patient. Okay, and we see the influences. There's something shocking and surprising happening for you guys with the transformational card. And let's look at the likely outcome now. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We see there's this sense of love and devotion and being patient for things to come into balance because you're having the sense that something isn't an equal give and take here with the Six of Swords energy. Star card tells me there's something hopeful here, possibly with this Queen of Cups energy. And we see that there is love here, hopeful love here with the heart card energy. But it's like you're ready to just stop you're wanting to take a break from the situation. So I feel like because you feel like something about this, this situation here is not an equal give and take, but you're not losing hope here. You're trying to be patient, kind of figure out, do you want to give your couple love? Do you not want to give your couple love? You know, so you're being patient. You're kind of like, I need to bring things into balance. Six of Pentacles energy. Now, this person could be giving you something, right? Because the Six of Pentacles can talk about somebody who gives somebody something. Like, you know, maybe they're like, all right, I'll give you some help here. I want to give you some support. Or I want to make sure that I get an equal amount of time here. We do see that this is hopeful, but it's like, I feel like you guys are like, maybe I need to take a break, maybe I take a break, take a rest here to kind of bring things into balance emotionally here. Cause I wanna be patient, but you definitely are not losing hope when it comes to love here. Yeah, we got this nurturing and supportive energy coming out for you guys. And you will have to make a decision on this and you're stressing about it. Now, you guys also have your ex energy coming in, okay? So, cause I can see it here. There's gonna be, you're gonna get some kind of text message letter from this person. It's gonna be quite emotional, but I really want you to understand you need to make a wise decision. Be patient here and really contemplate things here before just jumping in and making an abrupt decision because of chemistry and passion and romance, okay? It's time to gain the support of others and you know, you know what the deal is. You've gained a lot of experience. You know how to make a wise choice and a wise decision when it comes to um, you know, a long-term commitment here. So just be patient with yourself for now until you are ready. If you really want to go back with your ex, that is up to you. But I would say to you that you have to make sure that both people are on the same page and that you don't get back in the same situation where um, the, you, know, you have to look and examine why did you break up to begin with, okay? So my darling Aries, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another date or two. So stay tuned, okay? And also, um, there's multiple readings for you guys to check out. You guys can check out the Eclipse, Lunar Eclipse reading. That That is good for up to three to six months. So that reading you should check out because it does really affect us. Some astrologers say that it can affect us until the next lunar eclipse, okay? There's a lot of big changes, especially with our stability, our stableness, uh, dealing with food and so forth, so on. So check that out. As well as the weeklies are up and available for you guys to watch and the monthlies and the mid-monthlies, so forth, so on. I love you guys so much. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way with the love interest and singles, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Now let's talk about the uh, giveaway. So I'm gonna be giving a, um, a mystery box away with some of my favorite spiritual products. And um, I will be doing that towards the uh, end of December, okay? Because it's a holiday giveaway. And also a free personal reading. And then the second person will get a free personal reading. So I'm picking two people. All you have to do is put blessed in love in the comments below. And you guys should know you are blessed in love. And I love you guys so much. Hit the like button for you guys. All right, my darlings. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your next couple weeks. And I will see you guys in another date or two.